dropshipping on the Facebook Marketplace. You may know the Facebook Marketplace as a place to sell items that you have laying around the house to your local market. For example, anyone in your neighborhood would contact you on Facebook and let you know that they would like to pick up this item and it wouldn't go anywhere beyond that. But now we are proud to show you how you can dropship on the Facebook Marketplace and already start to implement automation settings that we already put inside the system. So watch this quick intro and let's begin. What is up everybody? Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS. I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And this video is all about the Facebook Marketplace and better yet, how to dropship on the Facebook Marketplace and even already add in some automation settings. So as you know, the Facebook Marketplace is huge. Many people see it as a local marketplace for selling only products that are local in a close radius, but that is not completely true. Dropshippers are already starting to dropship on Facebook Marketplace and it's already starting to be a very profitable business method to adopt. Another thing that I love about the Facebook Marketplace is that you can get free organic traffic to your store by using the power of Facebook's groups. So you just find relevant groups that have to do with your niche and direct them to buy products from your Facebook store. On top of that, Facebook has really low fees for their marketplace. Any order that you have on your store, you will only pay a 5% fee and that is all. If the product costs less than $8, your fee will be a fixed 40% instead of 5%. When we compare it to eBay and Shopify where the fees can easily climb to 9, 10% and above, Facebook is cutting those fees by at least half and it makes it much more profitable to use their marketplace. We're paying less fees and we're using the power of their marketplace, which is a huge, huge market, which is completely untapped at this point. So yes, we are the early birds here and let's get the most out of what we can before all of our competitors start joining the fun. And right before we begin, I just want to remind you guys, if you are new to our YouTube channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that are coming out in the dropshipping world. So without further ado, let's get to the good stuff. Now, currently there is no way to completely automate the Facebook marketplace dropshipping, but you know us here at AutoDS, we're always going to keep you one step ahead of your competition. We already integrated some semi-automation settings into the Facebook marketplace so you can already start dropshipping and you can do things like import products to the Facebook marketplace store and price and stock monitoring in semi-automation which I will get to in just about a minute. Okay, so what can we do and how can we get it done? The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have the AutoDS Chrome Helper extension installed. If you don't have it, just search Google for AutoDS Helper or use the link right below this video to download and install that Chrome extension. Once you install it, head over to the AutoDS platform. On the left side, click on settings and then go to plans and add-ons. Scroll down to the Facebook marketplace plan and click on buy plan. What we're doing here is we're adding the Facebook plan to our AutoDS account so that we can start the automation process that we already have going on. So choose whichever package is good for you. And once you click on the right package, go ahead and confirm the package settings. And now, as you can see, we have a Facebook marketplace plan available under our plans and add-ons for AutoDS. The next step is to add a Facebook store to our AutoDS accounts so that we can keep progress of everything that's going on. So on the top left, we're going to click on add store. Then we're going to click again on add store. And on select store type, we're going to choose Facebook store. Now we're going to choose a name for our Facebook store and this is only internal for AutoDS. It will not show up on our Facebook account. So I'm just going to call it my Facebook store and click on add store. My Facebook store has been successfully added and we can see it over here on the top left. And here it is down here. The next step is to start adding products to our Facebook store. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll begin by heading to Amazon and we'll search for a product to add to our Facebook store. So let's head to the best sellers where we can always find some great hidden gems over here. And we'll click on movers and shakers that will show us the most trending products from the last 24 hours. Now we'll head into some categories that are fit for dropshipping. For example, let's go into the home and kitchen and let's scroll a little bit and let's get these travel mugs that we're seeing over here. Okay, so let's say that this is the product that I want to add to my Facebook store. So the first thing that I want to do is grab the product's URL or the product ID 
So I can either grab the whole URL or just the product ID, the ASIN, which is right over here. I can also use the import to auto DS button, which is available through the extension that we installed. And it'll just import to our store in just the click of a button. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to do it using the auto DS platform. So we're going to head back to the platform. And on the left side, we'll click on add products. And in the publish tool, we're going to select our Facebook store. So here it is right here, my Facebook store. I'm going to highlight it and click on next. Okay, so we're publishing the product to my Facebook store. Here we can enter the product URL or ID. We can also upload a CSV file if we want to add multiple products to our store or use the AutoDS Finder if you don't have time for product research and you want AutoDS to find and add those bestsellers for you. So again, for this example, I'm going to add the product's ID over here. Make sure that all of the information down here is correct. The supplier is Amazon, region United States. And in advanced options, we do not want to upload variations on Facebook because Facebook does not support variations, but I will keep it on. So just in case if you keep it on, you'll see soon how you can add only a single product out of all of the variants to the Facebook marketplace. So I'm going to keep this on for now, but remember that Facebook marketplace does not support variations and we're not going to allow out of stock variations. So go over the correct settings that you want for your store. Click on next. Here we won't really be using a product template because Facebook's marketplace has its own template. We can tag the product and name it Facebook products. So in a month or two when I want to analyze how the Facebook products went, I'm just going to open up the tags, all of the products that have this tag and I'll see the list of those products it'll be much easier to analyze and optimize it in the future. Now, regarding automation, it's not relevant for the Facebook marketplace, so you can leave it on or off, it doesn't matter. Then we're going to click on next, enter your pricing settings, your total fees, so we know that Facebook is charging us a 5% fee, and set exactly how much you want to profit on top of the fees that you're paying on top of your break even. You can also add dynamic profiting. Now I want to remind you that the price and stock monitoring is semi-automated. We're going to get to that in a minute. So once we're done with that, we're going to click on next. The shipping and policies is not relevant. It's only if you're drop shipping on eBay or Shopify. So we're going to click on next. And here you can choose if you want to add the product as a draft, publish it to your Facebook store, which will only publish right now to AutoDS. We're going to get to that soon. Or schedule to publish it at a later time and date which isn't really relevant right now for the Facebook marketplace. So we're just going to add it as a draft and we're going to click on next. Now the item is being added to the draft section of our store. So on the left side, let's click on drafts. Okay, and here we go. We have the product on our drafts page. So let's take a look. The destination of this product is my Facebook store. So we know that it's connected to our Facebook store. Now we want to add an internal product note and I'm going to tell you why in just a couple of minutes, but for now, add an internal product note for every product that you're adding from Facebook. And what we want to add in the note is the URL or the web address of the product from the source site. So if you don't have the source site open, just click on view source product and it'll take you again to the source site where you have that product. We're going to copy the URL and in the product note, we're going to paste that URL and keep it over here. Okay, and that's done. Now we know that the supplier is Amazon US, but we have 41 variants, even though we know that Facebook does not support variants at this time. So what are we going to do about that? First, we're going to open up the item editor by clicking on the arrow over here. Then we're going to click on variants. And here we're going to choose the variant that we want to add to our Facebook store. So let's say we want to keep the first one up here. So we're simply going to select all of the variants, deselect the one that we want, and then we're going to delete them. Now we're deleting 40 out of the 41 variations. And the reason that we're deleting them is because we don't want them to take up space on our AutoDS subscription plan. So yes, I'm sure. Now all of the variants have been removed and we are left with that one variant that we want to add to our Facebook store. Now the next step is to head over to your Facebook account, head over to the marketplace. Now on the left side, we're going to click on create new listing choose listing type, we're going to choose item for sale. And as you can see over here, we have a paste from AutoDS button that was integrated into our Facebook marketplace when we are creating a new listing. This is from the AutoDS Chrome extension that we installed. So that is why we began this video by downloading and installing the AutoDS Chrome extension. So it's important that you take everything step by step. Now, in order to paste, we need something to copy. So head back to the AutoDS platform. Now I want to remind you guys that we're in the drafts page. 
we opened up the item editor and we clicked on variants. If you look over here on the right side, there is a copy icon. I'm going to click on that. Copy to clipboard. Now we'll head back to Facebook and we'll click on paste from AutoDS. What's happening here, as we can see right in front of me in live, is that all of the product's information is being copied from AutoDS to the Facebook Marketplace Create a Listing. So as we can see, we already have the product title, we have the product price, which is $22, the source price is 18.6, so I didn't really add any extra profit, but this is just an example. But remember that when we were adding a product on AutoDS, we got the break even settings, so you got the 5% fee. And on top of that, go ahead and add another 20, 30, 50% or however much you want to profit. The Facebook marketplace is new and there's a lot of profit that we can make over there. So let's continue. We got the title, we got the price, you got the item details. Now, Facebook's text fields are not that user friendly, so you do have to go inside the description here on the left side and make the line breaks where we need to have them and so forth. So you do need to go over the product description and fix it up a little bit as you see here on the right side. So we're gonna make some line breaks and we're going to make all of the text make sense. Of course, we're going to read everything and proofread it and go over everything and optimize it, but we're saving a lot of time with the whole copy and paste situation that we see that's going on over here. So as you can see, we're going to click left and right. All of the product images have been added. Now, since we're only using a certain variation, which is this one over here, we can go ahead and delete the rest of the product images that are not relevant for what we need. So if we just go up here, we can delete the pink one, the green one, and so forth. So make sure that the image is showing exactly what you are selling. First, we have the pictures, then we have the title, then we have the price, then the category that it belongs to. So we need to choose a category. In this case, let's just go with appliances. The condition is new. The brand, you can talk about the brand. You cannot talk about the brand. It's completely up to you. So I'm just going to write branded. Again, we're going to optimize the product description. You can add a product tag if you want, but we already have that on AutoDS and it's much better organized over there. Then you got the product location. So since we chose an item that's Amazon Prime and Amazon Prime ships from the US, we can just choose any location from the United States. So I'm going to keep it on San Jose, California. That's fine with me. And in the availability, you can either list it as a single item or list as in stock. Since we are drop shipping and we know that our suppliers have more in stock, we're going to choose list as in stock so that once the product sells, it won't go out of stock. It'll stay on our Facebook marketplace and we can continue selling it. So list as in stock. And that is all when it comes to adding products to Facebook marketplace from AutoDS. So you may have noticed that it's not fully automated. We do have to copy the variant by clicking on copy inside the products variants and we have to paste it using the paste from AutoDS and then start optimizing the title a little bit, the products category, the condition, and we're going to add the line breaks and add bullet points and everything else in the product description to make sure it looks really nice. The product location, list as in stock, and then click on next. Now you can choose if you want to add this listing to other groups on Facebook, which are mostly buy and sell groups that you have joined in the past. And once you are done, you're going to click on publish. That is it when it comes to adding products from AutoDS to Facebook. Now you're asking yourself, what about the automation? What happens when I get a sell and so forth? Let's start going over that right now. So we already know how to add products to the Facebook marketplace. The next thing that you want to do is head back to AutoDS, click on settings, and then on the top right, click on notifications. Here we have all of the notifications that we're getting from AutoDS through email. So we have order notifications, which is not relevant for Facebook, only for eBay and Shopify at this point, but we do have monitoring notifications and these are relevant for Facebook. So we are going to enable stock monitoring updates and we are going to enable price monitoring updates. What's going to happen now is every time the stock or the price changes on one of the products that we have on the Facebook marketplace, AutoDS will send us an email telling us exactly what change was made and to which product. Now, since we already added a note on our product, let's go back to the drafts page. Remember that we added an internal product note with the product's URL. So once we get an email saying the price of this item changed or the stock of this item changed, 
you will be able to see this note that you wrote on the product inside that email. So you'll be able to go straight to that product listing and see what's going on over there before making the changes on your Facebook store. So that is exactly why we want to add notes on the products that we're adding to the Facebook marketplace. Now, while we are still here, we're going to click on import. Now the product is moving from the drafts page to the products page, and then we'll go back to those notifications. So what's going to happen now is AutoDS will start monitoring the product. And as you can see now, product has been imported to selling platform. Now, if I click on products and only my Facebook store is selected, I will only see the products that I have in that store. And here we go. It's that variation that we chose. So we got this product. We got the internal note with the source URL. And anytime we're going to have a price change on the source site, or a stock change on the source site, we'll get an email right away because we went to settings, we went to notifications, and we enabled these monitoring notifications. Of course, once you're done enabling them, you have to click on save, otherwise it won't save it. And make sure that your email down here is correct. So let's just change it to my email, liran.autods.com. And make sure that once again that this email is correct because this is the email that AutoDS is going to send all of these updates to. And the email frequency will simply tell you how much profit you made every day on your dropshipping store through email. So you can get this update daily, weekly, or monthly. So choose whatever fits for you. Just make sure that the email here is correct and that you enabled stock and price monitoring updates. So once again, you're going to get an email, the stock here changed or the price here changed. Open up that email, see the update, open up AutoDS and make whatever changes that you need on the Facebook marketplace. Now, keep in mind, the products that you have in stock over here on Facebook marketplace, if the stocks or the price changes, AutoDS will make sure to change it on the AutoDS platform, but it will not change it on Facebook. You have to go manually into the Facebook marketplace and make the changes yourself. That is why AutoDS will notify you through mail, whatever's going on, so you'll never miss an update on your store. And that is how price and stock monitoring is done at this point, and it actually works great. So you can go ahead and start trying it now. Now, regarding orders, we do not have order automations for the Facebook marketplace yet. You will, of course, get a notification from Facebook that you sold the product, so you'll get notified anyway. But this is all of the automation settings that we have available right now for the Facebook marketplace. So as you can see, you can already get started. You can already add products and save a lot of time doing so. And you can already start your Facebook marketplace dropshipping business right after watching this video. Remember, we are the early birds that are adopting this business model right before anyone else. It's like beginning dropshipping eight years ago when not so many people knew about it. And today there's a lot of people that are already doing it. All of the early birds from back then lived through the golden era of dropshipping and already collected all of their golden eggs. Now dropshipping is still open to everyone. There's a lot of sales to be made, a lot of profit to be had. But if you're going to stay ahead of your competition and entering untapped marketplaces like the Facebook marketplace for dropshipping before everyone else, you are going to be much smarter than everyone. You'll make much more money than anyone else. And when the rest of the dropshippers decide to join the Facebook marketplace, you're already going to be hands and knees deep inside. So go ahead and begin right after this video. And don't forget that we have a lot of content when it comes to Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, which is going to come out really soon. I'm talking about product finding and the best dropshipping categories to use on the Facebook Marketplace and so much more things that we have planned for you. So go ahead and start before anyone else. Enjoy the fruits and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on very valuable and informational videos like this one. We have them coming out all the time and all we want to do is provide knowledge and help you on your dropshipping journey that's always created by dropshippers for dropshippers. Like this video if you appreciate the content, share it if you want your friends and family to also learn about the wild and amazing world of dropshipping and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you are new so you'll always stay ahead of the game. Thank you for watching. See you in the future videos.